And moving on, the Federal Ministry of Education has set the stage for the advancement of education in Nigeria by urging the head of Unity Schools to expose students to cutting-edge technology trends, including coding, artificial intelligence, machine learning and robotics. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Andrew David Adejo, gave the charge while receiving a robotics team of the Federal Government Girls College, Sagamu Ogun State in Abuja. The initiative aims to equip students with the skills needed for the evolving technological landscape. Amadin Ogbawe has more on the story. On Tuesday in Abuja, the Federal Government's Girls College, Shagamu Ogun State, led the college's robotic team to the Federal Ministry of Education and presented a humanoid robot named Okikiola Shagamu, affectionately known as Kiki Sagi. The Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Education, Andrew David Adejo, while receiving the students, underscored the significance of the head of Unity School's roles in exposing students to the forefront of technological advancements. This is a good beginning. You spent a lot of money, spent a lot of thinking time, and that is what you do more. Spend it because, technically speaking, whether we like it or not, the world is going to be driven by artificial intelligence in the next five years. It's already happening in advanced countries. I'm saying next five years because we in Africa, we are not catching up. I want to congratulate the, the Unity Colleges for coming up with these ideas. I've always said it that I'm not happy the state of Unity Colleges in the country. They should be number one. And robotics is appearing to present the opportunity for us to be number one. Think of the robot you would design to be serving food in your cafeteria. Highlighting the significant features and functions of the humanoid robot, the director and principal of FGGC, Dr. Muibat Adenike Olodo, articulated her vision of fostering innovation and motivating young girls to explore fields related to artificial intelligence. The robot is supposed to be able to move. We are to get to that level. By the time it's able to move, what it means, like the permanent secretary has said, is for it to perform some specific actions like the issue of uh, ability i mean the ability to be able to serve ability to be able to get to the classroom and for the, the teachers and the students to use it uh, 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 to to look for maybe search for knowledge on internet what they don't know and it's able to teach them how to do this then uh, it's we want to see a situation where it can even carry certain things from one position to the other. Several students involved in the project shared their motives for engaging with AI learning. They earnestly called upon the Ministry for continued support to facilitate further research and enhancements. This is our very own first version of our humanoid robots and it's a six feet tall. It's able to recognize faces that we train to recognize. It is able to move, it can move its hands, it can move its neck. It's the first version, so we hope that in the next come now, next versions, it will be more improved. It will be utilized in the academic field. Building it was not without its challenges, especially in the hardware and the software of teams. The hardware, like cutting and drilling holes, it was very stressful. Also, the programming itself, of fact, was a part a very big, very big challenge. It's really it was a, something we need to, we need to face. So we are hoping that the Ministry of Education will give us their support and encouragement for us to make better versions. The school meticulously worked on refining the robot's movements, arm articulation, face recognition and text-to-speech translation capabilities. The unveiling stands as a testament to FGGC Shagamu's commitment to technological innovation and his dedication to nurturing the potential of his students.